What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So this will be a spoiler free review for the latest live adaptation reimagining of Goosebumps, which we know obviously is going to be appearing or debuting, I meant to say, on Disney Plus this week on October 13th. Uh, this Friday, Friday the 13th actually. We know it's based on Arl Stein's classic material books, that iconic show if you grew up with that too. And it is being developed by Rob Letterman and Nicholas Stoller. It is starring Justin Long, Anna Yee, Miles McKenna, Will Price, Zach Morris, Isa Briones, Rachel Harris, and several others. This show is revolving around five teenagers who after accidentally releasing supernatural forces must find a way to work together and recapture them while discovering their parents' secrets from their teenage years. Now, I will start off by saying, as someone who loves Goosebumps, loves that material, loves the work that R.L. Stein did to help create a nice soft spot for my horror obsession as a kid, this show, it's not hitting it. It's, it's not hitting the mark at all. Goosebumps is a tonally uneven showcase of some of Arl Stein's best hits trapped in this melodramatic teen drama that's constantly falling flat the further the show goes on. This latest live adaptation attempt demonstrates exactly why this property needs to stick to being an anthology series of contained stories that are not overlapping in this sort of capacity. And sure, I can admit that the series offers a group of teens with likable qualities, but it also has a mystery involving a boy named Howard who died in a fire 20 years ago that seems to be sidelined in favor of exploring these teens' troubles a little bit too much, I will say. We have Lucas, a kid struggling to live up to expectations of his parents regarding sports and his future in as a football player. Then you have Izzy, a girl who feels invisible to her peers. Lucas, someone who has lost his father and copes through extreme stunts. James, a character that struggles being gay and is also Lucas's best friend. And, and another character named Margo, who kind of is just there in the middle as a neighbor to Lucas, trapped in between him and his girlfriend. Now, if this were Degrassi, I'd say job well done because of how it establishes our characters and lets us get an understanding of them and obviously grow attached or invested in them to some degree. But Goosebumps is failing as of now due to the inability that it has finding the balance between the soap opera aspects and the mysteries surrounding Howard and Howard's connection to these kids' parents. The dialogue is not the best at times, but it didn't completely ruin the narrative for me. You do get a jab at the patriarchy and who doesn't love that? How the series is incorporating these iconic childhood classics like The Haunted Mask, Cuckoo Clock of Doom, The Say Cheese and Die Camera, etc. is far from terrifying. While they do tie into the teen's struggles, Goosebumps just cannot seem to make their inclusion genuinely scary. The scares in these scripts are mostly coming in the form of jump scares and questionable visual effects. The jump moments come in the form of unexpected dialogue bits that catch you off guard and then loud screeching music. Characters appearing in mirrors or showing up behind someone. There is no consistently eerie atmosphere that leaves you on the edge of your seat that they utilize to try to build terror. They use all the cheap tactics on top of just being very uninspired and annoying when those tactics come on your screen. So instead again of doing that, there's such a massive focus on the teen drama that it begins to lose its appeal because I'm thinking about the mystery that the show takes pleasure in sidelining all the while it continues to just keep continuously focus on the teenage drama. The teenage drama part, that's good and dandy. You need that for me to be able to invest and care about the characters. However, when you keep on focusing solely on that and you're not putting enough attention into the mystery, not to say that the mystery isn't relevant at all, but they're not giving it as much attention as they put into the drama with these kids and their parents. One pair of parents is actually hooking up with each other. And it's like, OK, why does this matter so much? Why are we focusing on this so much? Most of the tone issues with this show, they're thanks to the soundtrack that Goosebumps uses. And they even have Travis Scott's titular song, Goosebumps, a cringy choice if you ask me. For as catchy and likable as the songs are, some are even on my playlist, the songs are coming in at the, at the most unreasonable times and they take away from the series being dark in any sort of capacity. In fact, I go as far as saying that, that early on, the soundtrack is the series' biggest problems in terms of being consistent with its tone. 
Acting-wise, Goosebumps has a mixed bag of performances. For every good one, there's a bad one. The actor who plays Isaiah, Zach Morris, being the worst one out of the bunch. And surprise, surprise, guess who's the best? Justin Long. Look, I love Goosebumps just as much as anyone else who grew up with those books in the classic show that I still revisit any chance that I get. But this show is not capturing the spirit of R.L. Stein's work very well. It's just another teen drama that's massively convoluted, unfortunately, and squanders the concept of what Goosebumps is. I feel as though when I'm watching this, they're struggling to commit to being a tribute to R.L. Stein's work commit to the mystery that it's setting up and also commit to checking off boxes on whatever checklist went into making this show S stuff just seems like it's not very genuine it seems very hollow it seems inauth inauthentic I don't know really what is going wrong <laughs> with the show so far, but as I went on, because this is only for the first five episodes, mind you, episodes six, seven, and eight, they could actually improve the show. But so far, this is not it. This is something that completely demonstrates, again, like I started the review mentioning, we need to go back to the anthology stuff. We need to have contained stories. We need to have characters limited to those contained stories. Let them get to shine with their own story in those singular episodes and just tell different stories each episode because what's happening now is a little bit too convoluted. It's a little bit too crowded in the narrative and it loses its appeal when it's constantly focusing on the teenage soap soap opera aspects and putting the mystery to the sideline. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. I'm going to give Goosebumps right now a 5 out of 10. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. There's a video in the description. I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.